what's going on YouTube <clears throat> still got the cold a little bit <clears throat> um, I was trying to wait it out a few days so I sound a little better but uh, <clears throat> I was waiting for a good topic and um, lo and behold Saturday I got a good one as you can see from the title um, just wanted to make a, a brief video I guess just talking about my thoughts on the whole situation well from watching UFC 126 yes I ordered it <clears throat> I was sick I wasn't going nowhere um I just felt as if the card was not as good as what I thought it would be it didn't, it didn't really live up to the full expectation I thought there would have been a lot more wars um definitely pick the the fight of the night correct I thought that would have been the scrap um but the, the Torres Benuelos fight wasn't as exciting as I thought uh the Mendes Omigawa started off that way but then it just faded out uh thanks Omigawa um the Griffin Franklin fight was good but not really as good as I thought it would be and uh the main event was quick um, but anyway, with the decision now that they made, um, Shogun is now fighting John Jones instead of Rashad Evans who tours MCL. I think it's pretty much a good step up, but let's just clear the air. The reason why John Jones was the late replacement for Rashad Evans was because Rampage turned the fight down. And I think it was a good move on his part, and I'm not a fan of the guy. And I'm I'm giving him props. He did he turned on the fight with Shogun, which would be a rematch for him, because he fought him before, and he told himself that he was gonna wait until he got another chance. And when he did to fight Shogun, he would be close to 100 percent. Now, Rampage for some stupid reason, and it is stupid. Um, decided to put all the weight that he lost for the Rashad fight back on, and now he's 250. So he would spend six weeks cutting 45 pounds to make 205 pounds for a uh, training camp when normally that should be the time spent training instead of losing the weight. So it just didn't make sense. I think that is a smart move on his part. So why criticize him? His decisions always get criticized for some reason, but you know what? People just need to understand that's just Rampage. Rampage is looking out for his well-being, and it's a smart move. So if you don't like it, tough. I like the fight with John Jones, and I like the fight with Rampage. Either one, I'm still excited. But either guy, Jones, Jackson, or Evans, Shogun wasn't beating any of them, in my opinion. So... You gotta have a new champ, and it's gonna be John Jones. This is not a prediction video. This is me telling you what's gonna happen. <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, I think a lot of people don't know the story. I'm letting you know. Now John Jones steps in to fight Shogun. Okay. Yeah, he's been fighting professionally in MMA for three years. Yes, he hasn't fought a top ten upper echelon competition yet Brendan Vera is not top 10 but it's no disrespect it is how it is <clears throat> who cares no one has figured out how to beat John Jones until they do then you can say he hasn't fought anybody but till then you got nothing you gotta find a way to beat him for you to consider him or, or consider him unworthy of a title shot He's on his title shot because he's beaten guys that shouldn't have gotten finished. And the fact that he is, I guess you could say, the favorite in this fight and hyped is because he's an exciting fighter and he delivers. He puts people in seats and he leaves them. He lets people leave the arena talking about his fight. And I remember watching UC87. And I've been following through on, on, on his fights ever since then. UC94, 
I was at Buffalo Wild Wings. I watched him destroy and dominate Stephen Bonner. Then I was at UC 100. I met him, shook his hand, he submitted um, oh, what's that guy's name? Jake O'Brien. And then uh, who did he fight exactly after? That? I can't remember. But you know, he just pretty much beat down everybody. Uh, Matt Hamill, that wasn't a loss. Uh, he destroyed Brandon Vera. As pissed off as I was, he destroyed Brandon Vera, and he just walked right through Ryan Bader. So all the tests that he has, you know, it's funny. People say John Jones hasn't fought anybody, but you're disrespecting the guys that he's beaten. You know, people respect Matt Hamill, and they're calling him a nobody when you talk about John Jones not fighting anyone. You disrespect Brandon Vera. You disrespect Ryan Bader. Disrespect the, the the janitor, the veteran, Vladimir Matyshenko. So, people just don't think about what they do. They just act like cavemen, which is stupid. But, I just laugh at that. So, anyway, um, this is a rant video, obviously. And, just want to touch on a few things about the whole Shogun and uh, John Jones fight coming up. Another Side note, um, in Dana White's video blog, <clears throat> he had asked Shogun who he thought would have won the fight between Bader and Jones. Obviously, he picked Bader, but not by the way I thought he would. He said, ground and pound. I'm like, damn, no respect. Then what happens? John Jones turns around and submits Ryan Bader. I don't think Shogun was expecting to fight John Jones, and I think because of that, He's not going to be as motivated as John is to fight Shogun. And that's going to create problems. The reach disadvantage for Shogun is going to be huge. And the fact that he's fighting a guy that he has to be the first to beat him. And as a champion, that puts a lot of pressure on him. Because one, he's Shogun. He shouldn't lose to John Jones. Two, he's a champ. He has to defend his belt. And three, he's fighting a guy that he should put away. He should. But he's not. So, just want to let you guys know, John Jones is going to be the new champ. We'll come March 19th. So, just deal with it. And, um, what else? Oh, and get off of Rampage's back, man. Leave him alone. He's going to fight Tiago Silva. Probably, probably win that fight. I don't know. Whatever. So, I'm going to go now. My voice hurts. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you can hear me properly. I don't know. Alright, peace.